Hey guys, I'm the Jaded Alien, and today we're gonna be back in Little Nightmares. And also, I just wanted to say, you can hear her, her, the lady, humming in the background. It's like super quiet, but you can hear it, and it's really creepy. I don't like that, so, anyway, we're gonna just get right into it. I immediately don't like this. Uh... Oh, let's see if I can climb this. Oh god, that scared me. I didn't mean to do that. No, I can't? Okay. Uh, okay. There's an eye. Oh, the dresser, the handle is an eye. I hate this so much. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a key. Uh, oh no, don't do that. Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, she's loud. Oh, don't, don't run, don't run. I'm gonna turn that off, because I don't trust it. So, oh, my mouse was showing. The picture right there, that's where we are, I think. I think we're on like a little island thing. I can see in the room, that's okay. All right, anyway. Don't touch the door, sorry. I hate this so much. She's so creepy. Mm -hmm. What is happening? My game keeps lagging. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why it's... Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna have to run from her, or if it's... Why'd you stop? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's the worst. Okay, mm -hmm. well, goodbye. Anyway, <laughs> okay. That picture on the wall is covered. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to break the vase. Oh, hey, wait, is that me? There's a little person <laughs> in a raincoat. No, stop lagging. Why are you doing that? Oh, is she just gone now? I don't trust it. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry if my game lags randomly. I don't know why my computer is like struggling to run it right now. So I'm sorry if that keeps happening. I don't know if it will. Also, I apologize for the background noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is a little bit of it. Okay. So... I noticed that her mirrors are always broken. Oh, what if she's, like, hiding in the mannequins? I don't really trust this. That last one by the door scared me, the mannequin. Okay. Oh wait, was I supposed to be getting like a key or something from in there? Was there a key?
Uh, what? <clears throat> I don't know if this is not working right now either. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, okay, maybe not bad then. Oh my god, it's right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I couldn't see it in the in the mess of the thing I broke. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Falling out. I think I struggled too hard on that. There was no reason for that. The music that's playing in the background sometimes kind of sounds like her, like she's humming. Okay. Run middle six. Okay, uh, I don't necessarily want to be in here though. There's the th oh my god, that scared me so bad. Okay, <laughs> I hate this so much. She's in the mannequins, isn't she? I bet money she is. Oh my god, no, please go away. Why? Oh my god, she is so fast. She's so fast. Oh, come on, I was right there. Why is my mouth showing? What's happening? Okay. I about had a heart attack when she freaking blew the door shut. Okay, it's cold. And now I know I'm just gonna run. Oh god, it scares me every time! She's so loud! Run, Six, run! Oh my god, I hate this so much. Run. Just run. Turn that on, though. Why is she all... Is she out of breath? What's happening? She's running weird. It's like it's harder for her to run. What's she doing? I hate everything that's happening right now. Oh, is it because she's cold? Is that why? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't understand. I'm already lost again. <laughs> oh god, I hate this so much. Okay. So, maybe I should keep going. <laughs> That's a weird room. I don't like it. I- oh hey. So I realized after. Okay, <laughs> let me explain for a second. So back at the beginning, I think it was in the second part, when there was that little room that had like the eye thing and it was like cameras kind of, and you could see like the little gnome guys and then the guy in the kitchen and then there was her and she was in her room humming. I didn't realize, but if you press the button again, it shows this room, and this is a mirror. Oop. So it like shows up with... I guess that's how you kill her, because all of her mirrors are broken. She doesn't like looking at herself. No. So... I don't trust this. Okay, which side are you coming from? This side? Oh, maybe I should stay in the light. Oh, Jesus. I hate this so much. Yeah, keep going. Uh, go, go, pick it up. Where? Oh my god, this is scary. The sounds that she makes, she's so loud. It's probably just because I have my sound up too high, but it's like super freaking loud. Okay. Just be ready. Okay. Oh god, 
God, I hate her. Sorry if I don't talk during this. I'm kind of like concentrating. It's hard to. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to point it in the right direction fast enough. as I was expecting it to be, but that was still really, like, intense. Um. She's hungry. Is she gonna go eat her? At the end, if I <laughs> hmm. there's like black stuff floating around. I don't know if that's just like leaves or something. That's the sound it made when she was hungry. What is happening? <clears throat> is she possessed or something? So I think when they come up at the end, that's like the ones that you hugged during the game. If so, I didn't hug very many of them. They're so cute. I don't know if I'm supposed to still be like controlling her or anything. Okay, I guess not. Okay, that's the end of it. Oh my, okay. Wow. 
So I wouldn't have stopped the last one. I think I would have just done it all in one, but I didn't realize that it was that close to the end of the game. I thought there was a bit more to it. So I freaking love that game. The art style and just the sound design and everything is so, it's just so nice. I love the way that they did it like everything for this game. The one drawback that it had was that, when I talked about this a lot, is that sometimes, sorry just a second. <clears throat> okay. The one drawback that it had though is that, and I talked about this a lot, is that sometimes, uh, like while you're running away from something or like whatever it is that you're doing, sometimes you get caught on the edge of things because depth perception sometimes, it's like really hard to tell how far into a room you are sometimes, and that can kill you. And that, got pretty frustrating. I got annoyed a lot in like the middle videos of this game, but I feel like a lot of that was probably just my fault. Maybe not, I don't know, but it was kind of annoying to have to deal with that. But other than that, this game was really, really good. And I do, uh, there's like a few things that I want to talk about. I have them written down because I knew I was going to forget them all, but. So at first I thought that the lady was kind of like, controlling everything. She was the one that was just like, like she got the people to come onto the island, I guess. It wasn't a boat. They were coming off of a boat. I thought that you were on a boat because it was like swaying, but I don't think that you actually are. I think you're on an island. So I thought that she was getting the people to come off the boat onto the island thingy, and then she would feed them until they got fat. And I don't, I guess, I thought that they were feeding them children, which I think that they are, but I didn't know why. And I thought that maybe the whole thing with the lady and how she can't look at herself in a mirror or they'll break. I was thinking maybe it was because, like, she's an ugly person, like, on the inside for the things that she's done, whatever, like, she's just a terrible person, so she can't look at herself in the mirror, which is kind of, like, I don't know if that's true, but that's what it made me think of, and I don't, like, so there's, hang on, I have these written down because I have to remember what I said, but, so I thought that the janitor, it was, like, in levels, kind of, so the janitor was, like, the lowest level on the island or whatever it is, and he would, like, catch the children. I don't know if he was- so at the beginning when he was setting out the rat traps and he was- I don't know if he was trying to catch rats or if he was trying to catch children because then when you like ate the rat or whatever or the meat out of the cage whatever it was when you were brought back up there were like cages full of children and then he was wrapping the children so I don't know if it was meant for the kids or if it was meant for something else but he was catching them anyway. I don't know but uh, I think he was catching kids. I think that's what he was doing and so he was like wrapping them and giving them up to the kitchen and then the cooks would cook them into whatever food they were eating and then they'd feed it to the people and then I don't know what the lady had to do with it really. I don't know if she was just overseeing everything or what, but I kind of took it like that. And also I was wondering, because there was that room at the beginning, the first time that you see the big guy with the janitor with the long arms, there was like the room with the kids that were laying on the beds and you had to hide under the beds. I was wondering if they were like growing children kind of, I guess, not really, but like they would have them sleep there and they just take them and then wrap them up and give them to the kitchens, which I don't, my lighting just went away because there's clouds. Sorry about that. Let's see if it'll get better. I don't know. But anyway, I don't know if that's true, but that's kind of, I got like a weird feeling randomly through the game and I was like, what the, what are they doing? But I don't know. So there was that and then, there's the numbers. Oh, and another thing that has to go through with, like, go with that idea of him like growing children is that they have, or at least six is a number. It's like, they don't have names, they're just numbers. So I don't know if that's like a way to keep track of them all, or if, what? Or maybe six is different, because now I'm wondering, so at the end of that she kind of seemed like she was possessed, or maybe like she took control, I don't know, because she ate the lady, and then she was just like taking everybody's life is kind of what it looked like. So I wonder if she was like the evil one through the whole thing, if she was the one that was kind of in control. I don't know. I don't know what to think about. I don't know how to make what to make of that because I thought that Six was trying to get away and then she ate the ladies and I'm not sure. I don't know what she's doing because there was weird I, every time it was like a step up she started with the gnome and then there were like other things that she ate but I don't know. That's why I was asking too. Sorry I'm kind of just like rambling because I'm trying to remember everything that I had like to say but that's another thing why I was asking earlier in the game if there was something, if they were just normal kids or if there was something wrong with them because they were like eating people and things so I was wondering if there was like some sort of like something they were doing to the kids that was making them evil but I don't know. That's just like the thoughts that were going through my head while I was playing. I don't know if 
you, I just kind of wanted to bring this up because I thought it was cool, but at the beginning, I think it was in the first part, when I went through, there was the room with the really, really tall furniture and had all the pictures and then there was like the small bed and I had to get a key from there and like the bed folded down and it was really short. And I commented on that, I was like, that's a weirdly small bed for how big all the furniture is. I was wondering if that was the janitor's room because I guess his body is not that long, it's just his arms and his arms don't necessarily have to be on the bed. So I was wondering if that was his room, but that's... I don't know, I thought that was interesting, and I caught onto that while I was editing that video, so I thought that was funny. Oh, and another thing, I was wondering if the people that were being brought, or that, like, were eating at the end, the fat people, <laughs> I was wondering if they were eating their own kids. I don't know, I don't know if this is true, this is just like, because I was thinking kind of along the lines of Spirited Away at that point, because in that movie the parents kind of like, they like turned into pigs, and they, I haven't seen that movie in a long time, I can't remember, maybe they tried to eat? their daughter and she had to like run away from them I can't remember but I was kind of thinking along those lines that maybe they're like bringing people onto the island and then taking the kids and feeding them to them for whatever reason I don't know so that was kind of like my take on the story it was kind of just all over the place and I wasn't sure what to think of it but it was really interesting too it was like a few things that you understand from it and I also like that there's no talking in that game you learn the story from the environments and just from the way that you like your character interacts with the other uh, people in the game, and I thought that was really interesting. I do have to say the way that they did character design and sound design, like that is how you do that. That is how you do character design because you learn stuff about the character. Oh, excuse me. You learn stuff about the characters just from like their environments and where they are in the game and like stuff like that. So you kind of with the janitor, he kind of. I took him. I think he's like an older guy just because. Like when you walk around him, he cracks his neck a lot and he grinds his teeth and kind of like the sound that he makes when he chases you, it's like a moaning, but it's like he's got like a raspy voice kind of, so it sounds like he's older. So you learn all of this just from like the sounds that he makes, which is really interesting. And I think it's so creepy. The way that they made him, he's kind of like a spider when he like comes down from the ceiling or goes like up into it or whatever, and he's like super long and like I don't know. And I noticed too, like there was a part where, I think it was a part where I was in the library and I was being chased by him. I wasn't really paying attention to the sound while I was, like, playing, but going back and editing, there were parts, I thought, I literally thought that it was, oh, is there more? So we are on that thing. Hmm. Oh, it's just a thank you for playing. Yeah. <laughs> um. Nice. I like that. And I do, I think that I bought the DLC, too, so I'm going to play the DLC if I have it. Hmm. Uh, anyway, though, at that part, there were noises that I thought, because when he was walking around, I thought it was just the floorboards creaking, but I realized while I was editing that he was, like, grinding his teeth. And I didn't realize that you could hear it, and it was that loud, but if you go back and watch, the sounds are so creepy. Another thing, like, in the part where he gets his arms caught in the elevator and you cut them off, I wasn't, again, I wasn't paying attention while I was playing, but going back and editing, I realized that I could hear him, like, after his arms got chopped off, you could hear him, like, screaming and thrashing, like, hitting the walls and stuff, which is so creepy. That's something that this game did really well, is just from the sounds that you were hearing, it, like, created images in your head, and it made it so much creepier than just, like, just the characters alone, it, like, built on that, and I thought that that was... I love that so much. I think that's really interesting if there's a game or a movie or a book or something that can do that, that can create images in your head and freak you out just from that. I think that's really interesting. And maybe that's just me, but I really like that. That's something that I look for in a game. But, so there was like a bunch of stuff that you learned from him and just like the sounds, like the music from the TV, that like the, again, the janitor, the one that he was listening to, it was so creepy. It was like really off-putting and eerie. But it was also kind of hypnotic at the same time. I noticed that like while I was editing, when I was editing that part of the video, I kept like catching myself kind of like nodding along to it or dancing, kind of, while I was editing, which I didn't know, but it's, there's something about it that's just kind of like, I like it, but it's eerie at the same time and it's super creepy. And I thought that was really cool. And I don't know if it's in like a different language or if it's just kind of like sounds, but I think it's in a different language, but I don't know. Uh, and that was, I also mentioned this in another video, but when Six was hungry and there was like the humming, which was happening at the end, when she was walking through and like killing the people, <laughs> it was the same sound that the lady was making when she hummed, but it was kids and it was like slightly, 
faster, I think, when the kids were doing it, which I thought that was interesting. I don't know if there's a connection there, but interesting. Uh, and another thing, like the cooks, the chefs, whatever you want to call them, the sounds that they made was so gross. They're like the coughing and the spluttering and like trying to catch their breaths and everything. They were all like, uh, I don't know, it was gross sounds. I don't, and like the screaming and everything. I didn't like the sounds that they made. They were creepy sounds. I thought that's just like really, really good sound design though. If it like the sounds alone can freak you out, but that's really interesting. And I also like that all of the characters are so different in just the way that they are and the way that they like interact with your character. They all like chase you or whatever, but they have different like the janitor gets you with his arms or whatever and the cooks kind of like after they catch you they throw you into the oven or the soup or whatever it is that they're making and then the people just try to straight up eat you it doesn't matter if you're like still alive and then the lady like you know, with the mirror and everything everybody's just so different and they all look so different but they're like equally creepy and they all build onto the story and it's just like and like the feeling of creepiness throughout the whole thing it's fascinating to me and i was also this was just another thing that i was getting but like again just from the environments you can figure stuff out about the characters so like for the janitor i i think that he's an older guy and he's the janitor or whatever he probably he's like i think he's the lowest one like out of all the people that are in or on the island or whatever it is and he just kind of like he catches the children he sets the traps for them and catches them and then he wraps them up and sends them off to the cooks and then they you know they're like the step higher and they whatever yeah but i also there was like the room where there were the dolls so i was wondering does he make dolls in his pastime or whatever? And does he use real people to make them? Or is it just like, he just makes them for fun or whatever? I don't know, I thought that was fascinating though. And then he's also, he likes books, I guess he's a librarian. He was like organizing books or whatever when he was in the library and stuff. And I think that's really interesting. He also likes music because obviously like the TV and everything, he was, there's like little things, little snippets that you get of the way that the characters are. And I think that's really interesting and it's all just from what you pick up in the environments, so and I think that's really interesting that they did that. I think that was all I had to say, though. I kind of, like, went through the page of things I had written down, so I guess that's all. <laughs> but I just, I really, really love that game, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. I noticed that I was kind of, again, while I was editing, there are parts, I kind of mumble when I record. I just do that, in, like, in all my videos, and I don't mean to because I feel like I'm talking loud, but I'm not. I realize when I go back and edit, so sorry about that, but... And I'm sorry that I like wasn't talking much of some parts because I was trying to focus, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed the series. I love it. And I want, if you guys want to, you should comment in the, down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think of the story because I'm not really sure what to make of it. I just kind of have like little theories for parts of it. So if you guys have any ideas, you should comment them below and I will like read them and I don't know. I'll see if I, if things like start connecting, I don't know, but anyway. I really hope that you guys like the series, and I don't know, I'm probably gonna get back into Resident Evil and FNAF again after this, but until then, if you guys want, I do have a link that's down in the description that takes you to uh, Redbubble, where I have like a page and like, you can look at stuff that has my art on it. I have stuff like coasters or shower curtains or shirts or iPhone cases or whatever. So if you guys wanna take a look at that, I would highly appreciate it. And if you guys wanna buy something, that means a ton to me. I'd appreciate if you guys would take a look at it. It would mean a lot to me, but I guess that's all for now. The link to the game is also in the description, so if you guys want to buy that, you can. Uh, but anyway, I guess until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, create the absurd.